Hey guys, Jafai here. This video will cover the horses, utilities, safety and location of the stables. The stables can be found by opening your map and locating the ranch or large barn with a trader icon that sells horse equipment. The ranch is typically located close to the coastline and is an open layout with a small red house that is enterable. It might also host a bunker entrance allowing you to quickly get down into the freight tunnel system. The large barn which has the horses indoors is located more inland compared to the ranch. The ranch and large barn both feature the same number of horses and utilities making them identical in usefulness. If the server's map size is smaller, you might only find a single stable within the map which might be the ranch or large barn. Both types of stables can spawn on bigger maps such as the size of 4500. Once you have arrived, the stables will be surrounded by a safe zone. Make sure to put away your weapons otherwise you will be targeted for 30 seconds which can be seen by the red crosshair icon in the top right of your screen. If you shoot your timer will increase to 1 minute and if shot by a turret will max out at 5 minutes. Both type of stables will host a trader and phone outside on the wall. You can't find any other utilities like a recycler or a repair bench. Since the stables are a safe zone it means you cannot take or deal damage to other players. Even if there's a sniper out of range from the turrets, their bullets will not damage you. You can still die by fall damage, environmental effects, or the turrets. The safe zone will also mark you as an enemy after sleeping there for around 10 minutes. However, if you do die, other players cannot loot your items, meaning you can return and take your stuff without worry. Don't bother fighting back if you are marked as an enemy, as the turrets are immune to damage, so just leave the area and wait it out. A stable will hold 6 horses that will be different or the same breed. Each breed of horse will yield different statistics which can be seen by examining them. The black and white thoroughbreds will have the fastest max speed of 54km per hour which is the main statistic you should be looking for when purchasing a horse. In total there are 10 horse breeds with the speeds of 38, 43, 47 and 54km per hour. The bay breed has the most health at 440 compared to the default 400 health of every other horse allowing it to take an additional shot or two before dying. The second fastest breed includes the chestnut and piebald at 47.5 km an hour with the slower speeds being the red rowan and dapple grey at 38.9 km an hour. When deciding which horse to purchase avoid these breeds. To purchase your desired horse, head over to the trader at the front of the large barn or small red building. Tell the trader you would like to buy a horse and purchase a saddle for 75 scrap. With the saddle in your inventory, you can walk up to the horse and hold E to select claim. You now have purchased this horse and can begin riding it. When riding the horse, you can control it with WASD, with the shift key being your sprint. Tap shift once to begin a light jog which won't use up any of your horse's stamina. Now if you hold down shift you will begin a full sprint which uses the horse's stamina. You can return to the light jog by releasing the shift and W and pressing W again to move forward. You can also press control to make the horse rear up on two legs while the spacebar lets you jump off your horse once you are finished. The horse's max speed will depend on the terrain with roads giving an additional speed increase. The dirt and main road will increase the speed by 7% over the default. Avoid riding your horse around the rocks or sharp terrain as they tend to get stuck and are hard to get out. If you do manage to get your horse stuck you can jump off and hold E to lead them. Now walk alongside the horse and it will continue to follow you. Additionally you are unable to ride the horse if you are wearing heavy plate armour. If you attempt to ride the horse it will say you are too heavy and if you equip it while already riding it the horse will just kick you off. Each horse will have a stamina bar which can be seen when riding or examining it. There are two levels of this bar which is the max stamina and available stamina. The max stamina determines how much available stamina the horse has when sprinting. When sprinting the available stamina will quickly decrease while the max stamina slowly decreases. If you stop sprinting or return to a light jog, the available stamina will increase back to the max stamina. The max stamina also affects the max speed of the horse. So a fully fed horse will be around 7% faster compared to the horse's default speed when purchased. In total you can naturally increase your horse's speed by around 14% by just feeding it and riding it on the road. 
You can refill the max stamina bar and heal the horse by feeding it cooked or raw meats, crops, packaged food, fruit or berries. You feed the horse by dropping these items in front of its head and it should automatically begin eating the items. Additionally, horses can eat grown crops without needing to pick them up, making rivers a great place to stop by to feed your horse thanks to the large number of crops naturally growing there. The best food to refill the stamina includes the potatoes, can of beans, pumpkins, chocolate bar and cooked bear meat. For healing the horse, the best foods include the pumpkins, black raspberries, cooked chicken, blueberries and potatoes. The horse is also capable of taking healing tea to quickly regain a large chunk of health. I would recommend heading over to the bandit camp and purchasing pickles for a cheap price of one scrap. Horses get a moderate amount of stamina and health back from pickles making them a cheap and great way to maintain your horse's health. Over time the max stamina will naturally decrease and reach zero which will result in the horse dying. You must continue to maintain the horse's stamina or use a hitchin trough to keep them healthy and fed as long as you have put enough food within it. A hitchin trough will be required if you decide to put your horses within a house as they naturally die much faster when indoors or have a roof over their head. It's recommended you have a basic compound to keep your horse within to avoid having them indoors or players stealing it. When examining the horse, you can find four equipment slots for crafted or found attachments to improve your horse's effectiveness, speed, or protection, and includes the basic horseshoe, high quality horseshoe, wooden horse armor, road sign horse armor, and saddlebag. The saddlebag contains six extra slots to include resources and items, essentially acting as a moving chest. You can pair this up with a maximum of 4 saddlebags to provide a total of 24 extra slots. However, each bag decreases the maximum speed by 3.6 km per hour, so having multiple will make you an easy target to shoot. The saddlebag is a default blueprint and requires a level 1 workbench to craft. Next we have the horseshoes which include the basic and high quality horseshoe. The basic horseshoe will increase the horse's speed by 5.4 km per hour and cannot stack with others. It is a default blueprint and requires a level 1 workbench to craft. The high quality horseshoe will increase the speed by 9 km per hour and cannot stack with others. It is primarily purchased at stables or fishing villages for 40 scrap but can also be crafted at a level 2 workbench with a total of 420 scrap for the tech tree. Finally it can be rarely found within lock crates, elite tier crates and military crates. Finally for the equipment we have the horse armor. The wooden horse armor will considerably slow down your horse's max speed by 10.8 km per hour, but provides 25 projectile protection to the horse and 35 projectile protection to the rider. The wooden armor also comes built in with a saddlebag to provide an additional 6 inventory slots. It is a default blueprint and requires a level 1 workbench to craft. The road sign horse armor compared to the wood armor is a considerable upgrade in protection. However, it has a massive reduction in speed of 21.6 km per hour with no additional saddlebag. When equipped, the horse and rider both have 50% projectile protection. It's recommended to only use this armor on a thoroughbred horse with a horseshoe attachment to reduce the speed penalty. You can also unequip the armor while on the horse when not in danger to gain back its speed. The armor is primarily purchased at the stables or fishing villages for 100 scrap but can also be crafted at a level 2 workbench with the cost of 345 scrap for the tech tree. Finally, it can be rarely found in lock crates, elite tier crates and military crates. Horses can also be used as a means of food and resources. Once killed, a horse can yield meat, cloth, animal fat, leather and bones with the amount gathered depending on the tool harvesting it. The best tools used to harvest the horse includes the combat knife, bone knife and hatchet. Finally, horses drop dung at a rate of 0.2 every hour. Dung can be collected and used within a composter to create fertilizer for farming. Horses are a great way to quickly travel between locations and escape gunfights. You'll most likely find them around the map in front of players' bases. You can sneak up and steal them to acquire a horse for free without the need of purchasing one at the stables. If you want to keep a horse, then make sure to feed them and secure them within a compound or base so other players don't steal them. That's all for this video, thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.